OmniFocus 2.1 for Mac is a free update that includes user interface enhancements, bug fixes, and improved integration with OS X Yosemite. In this video, I'll take you on a tour of this new release, highlighting the key changes and additions. The Omni Group has a well-deserved reputation for being a company that sweats the details. In the 2.1 release, they've changed the look of some user interface elements so that the app feels right at home on OS X Yosemite. Specifically, there are new toolbar icons, and the appearance of the status circles has been refined. Flagged items still have an orange status circle, but when the item is marked complete, the status circle now changes to a gray color. Previously, the orange color was maintained even after the actions were marked complete. The background color of the sidebar area now changes depending on which perspective you have selected. For example, if I click on the Projects tab, you'll see that the sidebar background is a light blue color. Similarly, Context has a light purple background, and Custom Perspectives have a pale green background. Let's start by looking at the Today extension. This extension gives you easy access to the actions that are due soon. I'll click in the upper right corner of the screen to access the Notification Center, and we'll add the OmniFocus Today view by clicking the Edit button, and then clicking the green plus button. I'll then reposition the OmniFocus panel so that it appears at the top of the Today view. And at this point, you can mark actions complete right from the Today view by clicking on the status circle. And if you'd like to access the action, for example, to review associated notes, simply click on the name of the action to view the action within the forecast perspective in OmniFocus. Next, let's look at the share extension that gets installed automatically with OmniFocus 2.1. Let's say that I'm in Safari checking out the iMac with Retina 5K display on Apple's website and want to create an action that references this page. I'll click the standard Share button, and then we'll click the More button to add OmniFocus to the list of share options. I can now create an OmniFocus action by selecting OmniFocus and typing the name of the action. When I click the Post button, a new action is added to my OmniFocus inbox with the website address automatically stored in the Notes field. Let's look at another example. Let's say that you need to pick up a package at your local FedEx depot and are in the Maps app looking up the address. You can create an action in OmniFocus that references a location in Maps by clicking the Share button and choosing OmniFocus. I'll add the text Pick Up Parcel At, and we'll click Post to add this to my OmniFocus inbox for further processing. And I'll quit the Maps app and then switch over to OmniFocus. There's the action that was just created, and you'll see that a Maps link has been added to the Notes field. When I click this link, Maps is launched automatically, and I'm taken to the location I was using earlier. This link will also work on the iOS versions of OmniFocus. Here I am in OmniFocus for iPhone. I'll tap the link, and we'll be taken to this location in the Maps app. And then I could use Maps to conveniently navigate from my current location. You can also share your OmniFocus actions and projects using the new Share button that appears in the OmniFocus toolbar. To show you how this works, I'll select an action and click the Share button. If you don't see the Share destination you're looking for, click the More button to add it to the list. For this example, I'm going to email the selected action and its associated notes, so I'll choose Mail and I'll be taken to the Mail app with the title of the action and the notes added to the contents of a new email. As before, you can access view items for your current perspective by clicking the View button in the toolbar or by pressing Command-Shift-V. It's now possible to access these view settings through a floating window by dragging the top portion of the view options. This floating window will remain visible as you switch to different perspectives and you can close it by pressing the Close button in the upper left corner of the floating view window. This new feature is very convenient if you're frequently changing view settings, for example, when switching between available and remaining tasks when in the project's perspective. Lastly, the Find and Replace feature now works in Actions as well as Notes. For example, let's say I created a project to plan a trip to Madrid and decided to go to Barcelona instead. 
I can change all references from Madrid to Barcelona using the Find and Replace feature. You can open up the Find window by choosing Find from the Find menu item in the Edit menu, or more conveniently by pressing Command F. For this example, I'll set Find String to Madrid, and enter Barcelona in the Replace box, and then click Replace All to replace all occurrences in the current outline. Any occurrences in either the Title or Notes field will be changed, and projects, groups, or actions that don't currently appear in the current outline view won't be affected. I hope that gives you a good taste of the changes in OmniFocus 2.1. Visit the OmniGroups website at omnigroup.com for more information on other tweaks and bug fixes that were included in this release. And visit learnomnifocus.com to access our growing collection of articles, videos, and webinars. This is Tim Stringer from Learn Omnifocus. Thanks for watching.